Well, let's go to Rob Ellis now with a look at your first alert forecast. Rob, it's looking good. It is looking good, and I've been looking at some of the new data. It always starts to roll in uh, sometime late this evening, and I, I try to analyze it so that for this show, I go, okay, how much do I need to tweak the forecast as we look ahead to the very important work week? A couple of things I'll let you know about in here in just a second. Let me start with where we are currently, and there's quite a bit of variability. 35 for Aurora, but 45 for Midway, so 10 degrees of separation there and 34 in Joliet. The city is likely going to stay just a little bit warmer for tonight. Many of the outlying areas are already down into the 30s, even a 32 showing up for McHenry. So a good chance that we will see some locations get down to around 32 and hold there, but we have some clouds that are rolling in, and as long as these clouds continue to filter in overnight, it should hold our temperatures from dropping much more acting as a little bit of a blanket. It insulates the atmosphere. Uh, any of the heating of the day, the, the sunshine that we got today, it kind of seals that in and that means our temperature is not expected to drop too much. I'll put us in the mid 30s. I know some of you are already colder than that, but really a city centric forecast here. Many of the outlying areas, the suburbs probably going to get several degrees cooler than that. South wind that's also helping to keep us mild overnight and then it warms us up for tomorrow. Look at this by the afternoon. We're into the upper 50s. And as I've been saying, some of the new model data is suggesting that we may be able to go even warmer than what I'm forecasting. I've got 58 for my expected high temperature tomorrow, but 60s wouldn't surprise me at all tomorrow, especially if there are a few breaks in the clouds and we can see a little bit of sunshine. Don't expect it, but if we get a little bit of sunshine, that would be gravy. Heading into tomorrow evening, there is a chance that we could see a couple of showers, and I do think they will be rain showers. A quick little cold front's going to move through here. Unfortunately, that'll start a north or a northeast wind, and that's going to keep us slightly cooler for your Tuesday. I was thinking maybe that was going to drop us down into the low 40s, so a bit of a big setback from our warm-up that we've been advertising, but it doesn't appear that that's going to be the case now. We may even be able to get right back into the 50s despite that little bit of a setback. 36 is what I'm expecting for tonight, but keep in mind there are going to be some locations that are a little bit cooler than that. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of any lake influence, which is still on the cooler side because we've got a wind out of the south or southwest. Looking at tomorrow, even though it is a warmer day, the big difference difference between today and what we saw yesterday and tomorrow is the fact that the clouds are going to be with us a good portion of the day. We had so much sunshine today. It was quite nice. Even yesterday when it was cold, tomorrow you're going to start to notice the clouds moving in. And this is really going to be the big theme of the week. Warmer, but also cloudier all the way through really the end of the forecast. The next two days, 58. I'm still holding to my 49 degree temperature here on Tuesday, but if there's one day that I have a little bit of a question mark on, and there's always one day where the forecast has a little bit of a problem or two in it. I think it's Tuesday where we may stream past that and go into the low to mid 50s. Not for everyone, but for many of you with mostly cloudy skies continuing. It's how quickly that northwest wind kicks in. Look at Wednesday and Thursday. These are your stellar days where we go into the mid 60s. I did boost these numbers up a little bit earlier in the forecast today. The average high is 46, so we're talking about 20 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. Well above the average, also cloudy days before we start a cool down that takes us into Friday and Saturday. And even looking out beyond that, beyond the six day forecast and the six to 10 day, kind of the medium to long range forecast, Higher than that average chance that we will see temperatures above the average. A good chance that we will see the temperatures staying in these very spring-like values. So if you are looking for spring and you're wondering, okay, is this just going to last a day or two? I think it's going to last a while, even carrying us through about mid-March or so into late March with some above average temperatures. Notice there are a lot of cloudy icons on here, but temperatures into the 60s when they cool down a little bit Friday and into Saturday. This is pretty close to where we should be for this time of year, and it's the coldest day I have on the seven-day forecast. Forecast. It does come with a chance of rain Friday and spilling over into Saturday, and then we warm it right back up as we head into Sunday with highs approaching 60 degrees yet again. All right, Rob, thanks so much.